All right, welcome back. I noticed that the, uh, the tape that I made, the video for part five, uh, it split and you never even, it never finished. So I'm going to pick up and uh, this is going to be the, the sixth video uh, that has to do with the peace and uh, the sign of uh, the, the call for peace and safety. Will it bring peace or war? And this is going to be part six. Now I was just ready to get into the meat of the article uh, that I wanted to show you. Uh, that was entitled, Hezbollah Lebanon Will Not Let Israel Seize Its Natural Gas. And just before I get into this, I wanted to be able to show you the scriptures, the prophecies that are actually being fulfilled now in our generation, which is really exciting because this shows us as well that we are in the last days. Now when you turn to Deuteronomy chapter 33, and I'm going to just isolate chapter 19 or uh, verse 19 and 24 just to show you the highlights there but again I recommend that you read the whole entire uh, chapter and for that matter the whole book but in verse 19 of Deuteronomy 33 it says this and they shall call the people into the mountains they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness for they shall suck of the abundance of the seas and of the treasures hidden in the sand. Well, we know what's hidden in the sand, and we know that what's hidden in the sea, and it's called black gold, oil and gas. Now, in verse 24, it goes on to tell us about this promise that Israel will discover oil and gas in the last days, is this. And of Asher he said, Let Asher be blessed with children. Let them be acceptable to his brethren, and let him dip his foot in O. I L oil and so the promise of God to the nation Israel you're going to find the hidden treasures in the sea and in the sand oil and gas and we are if you go to my post you'll see the dates that I put up Israel has been finding these massive masses amounts of gas and uh, now they're discovering oil J just like the fulfillment of prophecy and they're going to discover a lot more in the in the coming uh, months and years. There's no question about that. This is the beginning of the fulfillment of that. So now getting back to this article, Hezbollah Lebanon will not let Israel seize its natural gas. When you're talking and you're thinking about 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 where Paul said sudden destruction was going to come when they're talking peace and safety. Well obviously Israel went to war with Lebanon in 2006. Lebanon does not like Israel. They're their enemy. And now because of the uh, dispute over the gas rights in the sea, uh, Lebanon is threatening Israel and vice versa. So we see the, the earmarks of a possible making of why people would go to war. And uh, let me read this. It says, the Deputy Secretary General of Hezbollah says Iran or uh, Lip Lebanon will protect its right to face the Israeli threats as Israel-Lebanon conflict on the maritime economic border escalates. Hezbollah Deputy Secretary, and I'm going to just read this, that was the subtitle. Hezbollah Deputy Secretary General uh, Shiak Haram Qassam said that Lebanon will not tolerate Israel seizing its oil, gas, and water resources Channel 10 reported on Thursday. Now also the water resources are like black gold because there's been a severe drought going on in the Middle East and water is very, very uh, crucial to these Middle, the Middle Eastern nations. And it goes on to say, Lebanon will stand guard in order to protect all its rights no matter, no matter the cost, Kassam stressed during his speech on the Israel-Lebanon maritime border conflict. Kassam said Hezbollah, and Hezbollah is the enemy of the Lord, and keep in mind, Hezbollah is part of the people, the PLO, one of these factions that are mentioned uh, in Psalm 83. They're the people living, or the Phoenicians, the Palestinians who are living in the Gaza Strip, and some of them are in the West Bank as well. Uh, so let me read this again. Kassam and Hezbollah support. Uh, supports Lebanon's insistence to protect its maritime rights as well as the proposal that it had submitted to the United Nations in August uh, on where its maritime economic border should be. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has recently said 
that the maritime borders proposed by Lebanon encroached upon Israel, Israeli territory uh, and specifically further south those recognized by Israel and determined in previous deals. So there is a problem and uh, people want to fight over the gas and as I said, all I know is what the Lord showed us. There is going to be war, that sudden destruction. Now, what brings it about? Will it be the failed peace process? Could be. Will it be the fight over natural gas? Could be. Will it be the fight over the oil? It could be. Will it be a fight over the water? Could be. All we know is sudden destruction is coming, and the news is showing us it's the same people that are mentioned in the Psalm 83 war are mentioning in these recent articles as having conflicts with Israel. So there's definitely a uh, definitely uh, signs of this coming. Now this just came in that I, I was looking at this and it's talking about as I mentioned in one of my previous videos today uh, about the Arabs going into uh, the UN to declare a Palestinian state. And this is today's news. The It was published today, uh, the 14th. It says Arab League to request full Palestine membership at UN. Security Council set to hold open debates on Middle East on July 26th. But Israel has made it clear that it opposes any unilateral Palestinian declaration of statehood. Uh, it was decided to go to the United Nations to request the, recon the uh, recognition of the state of Palestine with, get this, East Jerusalem as its capital and move ahead and request full membership, said the communique, a copy which was obtained by Rutgers. In an open debate, on the Middle East has been scheduled for July 26 according to the uh, provisional calendar for the Security Council in July. Israel on the other hand has made it clear that it opposes a Palestinian unilateral declaration. In other words they're going to they're not going to abide by it really essentially what they're going to say because they, they can. I mean if they did this and somebody uh, if the UN said, yeah, we're going to make you a nation and try to go into Israel, I guarantee there will be war. And it could be the sudden destruction that the Holy Spirit had showed Paul to write. And again, these things are happening, are coming around the, the sign of the feast, which again for this year would be September, uh, the next one on the agenda would be September 28th through the 29th because it's a two-day feast. So we really need to be paying attention uh, for the current events and I've stressed it many 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 times and I'll keep keep it up that uh, the only way to protect yourself is to have the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ save you and without his blood the atoning blood from that cross you will not go in to heaven and Jesus made that very clear in his word in, J in John 14 6 when he tells us that Jesus uh, says, and let me quote it, it says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And that's the way it's going to be. And Jesus has given us more than enough information in the signs of the last days to prove that he is who he said he is, the Messiah of the world, and he did in fact pour that blood out for you. And he is coming again just as he promised. And for those that received him, he has a place in his mansion in heaven for you that you will be there hidden away from the seven year tribulation that is coming. You can partake today with the rest of those born again believers who have already received Jesus Christ as your Savior. Or you can reject this, listen to Satan, and have your road, your road paved to hell. It's your choice. God isn't going to you know, twist your arm, but he's made it very, very clear with all the information and all the signs that he loves you and he does want you to believe what he says so take the choice and if it helps read my book the last chronicles of planet earth with all the documentation there and, and I'm sure that the Holy Spirit will talk to you the way he's talked to so many other people who've already read the book and committed their life to Jesus Christ because they finally believe in the signs of the times 
Thank you.